Are you looking for a handheld vacuum for your car? I got this one right here that this company sent to me and it was really interesting. It's made by a company that I've never heard before called VacLife and I just got interested because it had 6,700 reviews as of this recording date and uh, I I'd never heard of this brand before so I was like there's got to be something good here that I am just haven't seen yet. Uh, another cool thing about it is that it has the rechargeable battery that's in it. And uh, one thing that I've seen on like floor vacuums before, but never really in a handheld vacuum before, is that it has like a little uh, LED light on it. I know like some drills have that, like, uh, you know, cordless drills. They'll put a little LED light so you can see where you're screwing. There's a vacuum that has this, so I thought that this would be perfect for like whenever we're out traveling, going to the beach or something like that, and uh, we can clean up sand. That's the biggest thing for us. So I want to see if this is the best handheld vacuum for a car. By the way, hi, hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have. And this company sends to me and sponsors this video. So if you're interested in that, watch all the way to the end of the video so that you guys can see everything that's in this box here. We're going to go through everything. So this is it right here. This is the VacLife handheld vacuum. That's what it looks like right there. It seems to have a nice little look to it. The box doesn't seem too big, which means the vacuum's not going to be that big. They give you four little tips here on the front if y'all want to pause the video and read some of that right there. You can do that. Um, Let's see, let's open this thing up. Got a charger and then use the dust brush. Got a warning about dust, a wet and dry filter, no suction. And feel free to leave a comment. Okay, oh, we got a, a two year warranty on here. If you register, you get an additional two year warranty. Always love me a good warranty. There's their Facebook page right there. If y'all wanna use that QR code, y'all can check that out. I wanna get into this box. What we got going on here? So this is the charger plugger in it right there. Does come with some filters as well and what oh okay so this one also comes with a few accessories as well so this right here i believe is the crevice tool which is great for cars um to be able to get down into the nitty-gritty of things looks like it's about uh it's hard to tell how big that opening is about the size of my fingernail i don't know if that makes any sense um Nice oval shape to it too, so you can kind of get into those cracks, cracks and crevices and be able to suck up all the stuff that's in there. This is the other little tool that it comes with. It's a little brush tool, which is great for getting all the hair and whatnot and you know getting into the nitty gritty of things. Does this fit on here? I'm just curious, I don't know. Does it go this way? It might go this way. Oh yeah, look. So you can use this tool with the brush tool right there. Get into there. I like it, I like it, that's awesome. Here we have the Mama Jama right there. And then this is, what was that? Oh, a little, a little tool. I don't know what this is for. That's interesting. Okay, maybe for cleaning something on the inside. I like it. A little ex extra, extra added bonus there. Got some uh, register for their stuff. You got a little, a uh, little filter paper thing. I, I believe that that's another one of these. It goes around the filter there. Super cool. That they give you an extra one like that. And this is their instruction manual, their user's manual. It looks like it is in English and Japanese. You guys know Japanese? If you do, pause the video and let me know what this says right here. Because <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> I tried to learn Japanese, but I didn't keep up with it. Um, so they give you all the basics about this. Maybe we'll go through this in a future video if you guys are interested. Let's get into this. This is one thing that I always like to check out. Is how long is the cord that they got here. First of all, AC cord. And we got a little bread tie around here, so let's undo that right there. And we are looking at, that's a good five foot cord, I'd say right there. About four and a half, five foot cord. So you'll be able to get a good length through there to be able to charge things and whatnot. Then we have, this is the vacuum right here. All wrapped up nice and bubble wrap, which is nice to keep it protected. Oh look, you get another filter that's already assembled in there. That's super cool. That's great. So it says dusty or wet filter plus low battery health equals no suction. Clean plus dry filter plus good battery health equals strong suction. Wash and dry the filter after each use. Okay, good to know that you uh, need to be able to, you, that, good to know that you can wash and dry this thing right there. Looks like we have a button right here on the top. It's kind of a copper colored button. Looks like that just pops that off so that you can change out your filter right here. There we go. It's nice and rubberized so you get a good seal on there. And uh, it's got this gasket around it. 
so it's really hard to pull out or you know it gets in there really good but then uh It'll, uh, whenever it's creating the suction, you won't have any uh, air leakages in there, so you're actually getting some good suction. Let's see, is this, yeah, look, that thing fits right there on that. You got this little guy right there. This is working out perfect. Okay, I like it. Look at the motor. That's the interior right there. Kind of move it around so you guys can see what it looks like. Pop that right back on there. Pops on nicely. Got a little piece of tape over the, looks like the button here. I'm assuming that's the clicker to turn it on and off. I don't know what this button does. Seems to suck pretty well. Y'all hear it? <laughs> Put y'all on the microphone. Yeah, that's got decent suction there. Just one speed on and off. What is this little guy? I don't know what this button does. I need to figure out what that button does. Got nice airflow holes going through the side here. Right there and right there. And uh, it has a nice nice grip to it, actually. The uh, handle right here. You can see there's like a little bit of a bump here. So it fits comfortably where your hand goes in. And then your thumb rests perfectly on this on-off switch right there. I just wish I knew what this little button right here did. Oh, that's your light. Ha! Look, boom shakalaka. There it is. Did come charged, too, which is nice. Where's the charging port on this thing? Right here on the back. So that just plugs right on into there and boom shakalaka man you got a nice little vacuum right there this will easily sit in the car if you want to put it in your trunk whenever you get messy in there you could do that or i mean if you just want to use it around your house to pick up those small spills you don't have to lug out the big vacuum and all that mess you can just have this sitting on the uh like on the uh washer dryer area or whatever unplug it boom do your thing put it back up man this thing is awesome i'm liking this little guy i think we're going to be using the heck out of this definitely for whenever we do some travels oh i'm also noticing that there's a little black uh tab on the end there i don't know how to describe it but that uh i guess helps keep the dirt in and not coming out whenever you stop it I'm also noticing that this interior part right here is raised a little bit. So what happens is you're going to suck up your dust. It's going to go into here. Whenever you turn it off or whenever it gets to the sucked back enough, it's going to fall to the ground here. And then it will have a harder time coming out. One, because it's got the stop on there. But two, because this is lifted off the bottom part right here. This little tube inside, the interior tube is lifted. So your dust will actually go down into this bottom area and not back out the front, which would not be a good situation. Then whenever you want to go and change it, simply press the button, lift it like this, have it like that, and then boom, you can go and do your dump. Man, this thing is cool. I'm liking this more and more. All right, now I want to do a little demo of this vacuum. So I have some sand here and I've got carpet here and this uh, vinyl flooring here. I'm just going to dump that on the ground and kind of spread it around and whatnot and let's see how well this vacuum actually picks this up here so we made a nice mess and turn it on all right yeah look at that wow that works well in the carpet you can see yeah look at that you can see it down in the bottom of the vacuum here that it has collected all the sand. You'll see it moving around in there. That works great. I'm impressed. Go ahead and put some of that and just to show y'all the crevice tool as well. I can put that on. You can see, yeah, that works well as well. Nice. And then we'll put this little brush on there. Just like that. And then you can get down into your carpet like this if you need to so that you can really get into those fibers to get that suction stuff going. This is fantastic. Yeah, look, it's collecting everything. Nothing is falling out because it's got that flap on the top there. And uh, and it's like I was saying earlier, it's, uh, it's kind of set into the tube. So it's a trap for everything that's in there. This thing is, I'm impressed by this thing. I like it a lot. If you guys want to check this out, I'll link it up down in the description below. Y'all can go read other people's reviews about it, not just take my word for it. One guy literally checking it out for the first time, and I think we're going to get a lot of good use out of this. Like I said, it had 6,000 plus ratings on there, like a four and a half stars or something like that. So 
definitely go and check it check out the link below and go read other people's reviews about it and uh, if you guys want to see some of the other vacuums that I've reviewed here on the channel I'll put that right there on the screen or I'll put a video right here this is the one that YouTube thinks is the best for you so go and click one of these videos we'll see y'all in those videos thank you dads for watching that thumbs up is appreciated and dad out